Uh-huh. Cliches. That's superficial, but necessary as verbal acknowledgement in social situations and in the workplace. Examples are, how are you? Like when you go to work, your greeting when you come in. It's rare that you see people really just going to work and not even speaking to them to one another. When you come in, hey, what's up, man? Hey, how everybody doing this morning? What's going on, man? Shoot, I had a long night last night. So, so people begin to talk. Hey, man, you see, the, you see the game? Did you see the fight last night? Did you see the news? What happened? That's how people come into work and they create communication. They create these create, um, communications with each other. This is normally how they start the day. The next one is um, facts. F-A-C-T-S, write it down. That's talking about people, uh, uh, things, basically including what we always talk gossip, and stories, things we heard. What's the major thing everybody talking about now? Chris Rock and, Chris Rock and, uh, 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 um, and Will Smith. That's, that's been a start in every place of employment. Everybody want to know about what happened. If they didn't see it or if they did see it, everybody got that theory of why it happened. All right? So that's based on facts. The next one is opinions. O-P-I-N-I-O-N-S. Ideas and judgment. Some risk involved. Why did it say that? Some risk involved. Are you writing, writing this down? Opinions. Opinions are always going to have risk because you're going to always have people that don't agree with what you're saying. You got some people that's always opinionated. Opinionated. You can be telling the truth. You see the same thing, but two different perceptions. We just see the same thing. Nah, he didn't. He didn't smack him. Yeah, he did smack him, man. Did you see that man just smack him? <laughs> Nah, that, that, they, they were faking. That, it, it wasn't real. Yeah, real, man. You see, real. that's what I'm saying. Everybody got their own opinion about how they see things. But this also creates communication because everybody is not going to agree on but, the same thing. But it could have been this drip, though. You know yeah, but, but you see what I'm saying? But see, that's your opinion for what it could have been. But is it based on fact with me? Yeah, it was based on fact because I've seen it. This is what my better judgment is. It may not be your perception, but at the same time, this type of communication is a level of communication that when people come to work, they, they, it, it starts a conversation. And guess what? Everybody tends to get involved because everybody had one thing in common. If they didn't see it, they heard about it, and everybody got an opinion about it. You see what I'm saying? That, communi that creates communication. That's how you create communication. Anything that happens, Super Bowl. Man, boy, you see, you see them Steelers last night. Next thing you know, everybody talking. Guys and girls. Did you see Beyonce when she did such and such last night on the Grammys? Yeah, everybody, we got this in common because if we didn't see it, we heard about it. We heard about it before we got to work. This is all on the news. We got something to talk about. And if you didn't hear about it, you heard about it now. Now you're creating your own opinion. All right? The next one is feelings, gut level, open and honest, very risky, be worth, it. very risky but worth it. Feelings, we all got feelings. Some of us like wheel, you know. Some of us like uh, uh, us like wheel movies. Uh, uh, some of us like Chris, his movies, right? So by us having opinion. Of, of, of who did what or who shouldn't have did what, we still got our own values of what we feel how that person should have did or how they should have responded. And that comes from our feelings. And it says that it comes from a, a good level. Open and honest. Emotion. Emotion. Yeah, man. We all should have did that. <laughs> that was his wife. He's talking about his wife like that. Yeah. And you got the other brother, man, that's you. He wanna walk on that stage and hit me like that. Nah, they did something. Like that. You see what I'm saying? But this is feelings. No. Now, after the fact, everybody is in their feelings of how they feel 
it should have went down. Or how they finished should have went down. But nobody there at the Oscars, nobody jumped up. Nobody tried to uh, 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 put a uh, uh, coal or uh, uh, water on the situation. Nobody stood up and tried to stop him from doing what he did. Nobody tried to cool him off. They said he was mad. Especially he was laughing when he was about to see Yeah, him. I mean, but see, that, that's an opinion too. Then he got a little a good. Yeah, his wife, his wife didn't even tap him. You know, she, she, she you know, you know, you exactly. He got up. Know he she, listen, she been with that man long enough to know that he was, he was kind of out of his face. She been with him long enough to know that when that man stood up, he was really going to do something. And I'm just so glad that he just didn't put the two or three piece on. Because Will Smith be locked up right now. Believe it. He put it like that right there. That slap, he got away with that. But if it would have been like boom, boom, bam, bam, how many of y'all think he would have been locked up? They would have locked him up. It wouldn't have been nothing that Chris could have done. And they still might lock him up. Just off GP. But that's how they do it. Then if it was young boy, if it was NBA young boy, he would have.